Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 11 server. In this video, we're gonna show you how to set your IP address. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 11 server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps you in this video. Click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. Now, this video is going to be specifically dedicated to how to set your IP address. We're going to do it two different ways. We're going to do static IP and DHCP. Let's get going to the fun stuff. All right, let's get rolling. So as we mentioned, we're going to do two different ways as far as setting up an IP address. The first way that we're going to do is set up an ILO DHCP IP address on your ProLiant Gen 11 server. You do need to have an active network connection. And after this, we'll show you how to do static IP. So let's go ahead and hop in. So the first thing you need to do is make sure to connect your network cable to the ILO network port. Turn your server on. And during the boot process, press F9 to get into system utilities. In the system utilities page, you're gonna to wanna to press enter on the system configuration option, and you'll see the loading screen with the message that pops up, starting devices. Let it finish loading. On the system configuration page, scroll down to the ILO 6 configuration utility and press enter. On the ILO configuration utility page, select network options and press enter. On the network options page, scroll down to DHCP enable option, change from off to on. Now we're gonna press F12 to save and exit. The system will ask you if you want to save the changes, click yes to save the changes. The system will show you a warning message saying that the ILO configuration has changed and needs to be reset. Please click okay. The ILO will reset and prompt you to click a reboot, uh, and this is going to reboot the server. Your ILO IP address will be automatically assigned after the server reboots. Congratulations, you've done it. You've successfully assigned your IP address via ILO DHCP. Now we'll show you how to do static. All right, so now we're going to show you the second way to set up your IP address. We are going to set up an ILO static IP address, and it's going to be very, very similar as far as the beginning steps. Uh, we're going to configure this in the network ILO 6 settings. So you need to make sure that you have an active network connection and make sure that you connect the network cable directly into the ILO network port. Turn on your server. And during the boot process, please press F9 to get into system utilities. In the system utilities page, you're going to press enter on the system configuration option. And then you'll see a loading screen that pops up that says starting devices. Everything looks very, very similar so far to the uh, DHCP way. It's going to change here in a second though. So on this systems configuration page, you're going to scroll down to ILO6 configuration utility, press enter. On the ILO configuration utility page, select network options and press enter. Now this is where it's gonna change. On the network options page, scroll down to DHCP enable option and change it from on to off. This will allow you to manually change the IP address, the subnet mask, and the default gateway. Now in the IP configuration at the bottom, we will change the IP address to 172.16.51.227 and the subnet mask to 255.255.254.0. Next, the default gateway will be set to 172.16.51.1. Now this won't be the same for everyone, but this is what it'll be for us. Now press F12 to save and exit. The system will ask you if you want to save the changes. Click yes to save the changes. There's gonna be a warning message that pops up that's just gonna let you know that the ILO configuration has changed and needs to be reset. Click okay. Now the ILO will reset and prompt you to click reboot to reboot the server. So essentially you're just gonna reboot your server and when the server pops back up, your IP address will have changed and been saved to 172.16.51.227. Hey, if you made it this far, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built servers, we sell HPE, Dell, IBM, Cisco, Supermicro. We do new and we do use, and we would love the opportunity to earn your data center's business. Please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. Thanks for stopping by guys, take care.